I'm actually running a campaign right now for uh, a Nigerian artist, and he's an Afrobeats artist. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, I don't know if you're familiar with him. His name is Manny Wells. But, yeah, um, I know, I know. I've seen him on IG, and also Corey has posted him too. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're working on his campaign, and we're doing all the targeting in Nigeria right now, and okay. it's it's going great. And he's starting to build a pretty big size fan base in Nigeria. And the interesting thing is about when you target these different countries is normally you can get way lower cost per clicks. Mm -hmm. um, so I would consider targeting that area since, you know, they are strong listeners of Afro beats. Yeah. And then um, you said you don't have a music video yet, but if you can get some sort of video created for the ad campaign mm -hmm. that you think will be interesting to them, um, mm -hmm. will, will be good. You could, you could also do uh, YouTube as well. You know, you could target Afrobeats artists in your placements. Yeah. Um, and the influencer stuff, I would say to only do that if you have like a larger budget. Okay. But, mm -hmm. but if you're trying to get the most bang for your buck, I would say probably do the Instagram ads and target similar uh, Afrobeats. Afrobeats artist and then yeah like Wizkid and all those people yeah Wizkid, DeVito um, mm. those type artists because in Instagram Facebook ads those are actually interests that you can target I just know yeah, I, I searched them up yeah I, I made a list actually of those Afrobeat artists that I can yes. actually search and uh, because Facebook is kind of limited right in terms of the audiences and stuff but those ones popped up so yeah, yeah and then also uh, use the keyword uh, Afrobeats because that's also okay. one that's also one in Facebook. Mm. Um, and that should do some good stuff for you. You know, if you have a strong, strong mm. song and strong video that you put in front of them, mm -hmm. then it should work well. So in terms of uh, for money was from your experience running it for him, like for that market, like compared to the normal uh, cost per click and all the metrics that you usually find for the other adverts versus that one, uh, uh, like what's the difference in terms of the numbers, like actual numbers? Like, I know it's cheaper, but like, how cheap is it? And like, just to get an insight into it. Well, I don't know off the top of my head, but I think like when we mm -hmm. ran his US campaign, it was probably like 30 cents more cost per click, maybe 20 cents more cost per click. Mm -hmm. So versus maybe 30 to 40 cents in Nigeria, we're seeing 10 cents. Yeah, um, that's a big difference. That's like 30%. Yeah. Of, that's so it's probably like a, a, a quarter versus $1, right? Yeah. So That's maybe bigger. 75. Now the thing is each country pays different in streams and royalties, right? So mm. your, your streams are not going to pay you as much in Nigeria, mm. but the thing is fans are real. That's so, the, that's my, yeah, mm. And at the end of the day, the goal is to generate fans, right? So mm. if you, if you get a hundred pe people listening to your song in the United States mm. and you get hundred percent, hundred people listening to your song in Nigeria, mm yes, you know, you're going to get paid more for the streams in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, that's still 100 fans who might one day buy one of your merch or buy a ticket to your concert. Mm -hmm. uh, so we always tell artists for sure, like experiment in other countries that make sense as well, because a mm -hmm. fan is a fan at the end of the day, regardless, yeah, yeah. Of, regardless of how much a stream pays. Mm -hmm. I always say like a pretty strong, solid monthly budget, you know, if you don't have, want to spend too much is $300 a month. That gives you about $10 a day to spend, which is more than enough to get results. Like realistically, you could probably get results with $5 a day, but um, yeah. if budget's tight, uh, I think $300 is a good start for you to start right. testing and dipping your feet in the water. So before I set up a conversion ad, mm -hmm. the main thing I look at are the cost per clicks mm -hmm. on, on Facebook and mm -hmm. then also the click through rate on uh, your fan link. So are you using Tone Den or something else? Oh, uh, that's what I'll be using, yeah. Okay, yeah. so the main thing I would pay attention to is the cost per clicks and then the, the click through rate that the percentage that's showing on Tone Den. Um, we like to at least find before, you know, scaling and add and setting up conversions, mm -hmm. we like to find a cost per click under a dollar. And mm -hmm. then also we like to aim for above a 30% click through rate. Uh, okay. So, so one, those are the two things that we look for before we launch a conversion ad. 
What so about the future events? If you get to that point, let's say you you get uh, an ad that's eighty percent cost per click, and then your tone den is at thirty percent or above, then mm -hmm. I would say you're good to go ahead and set up the conversion ad. Oh, and so then, it doesn't it doesn't matter with the fifty uh, conversion uh, events thing for the okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I would I would mainly optimize around those two things. Um, and then normally what happens is that when you, you set up your conversion after that point, you're going to see your click through rate just spike. Um, so normally it'll go from like a 30% to a 60% because now mm. it's, uh, Facebook is optimizing for actual conversions. So normally that will double in the percent. Oh, that, that makes sense. That that's makes sense. when, that's when the magic starts happening. Wow, what's up, it's Brandman Sean, and if you got value from this video, we got a ton of value to offer you in brandmannetwork.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description if you want to talk with us directly or some of the people in our community in between videos so you can ask questions specific to you or hop on one of the live sessions that you see on the channel when we're speaking with other artists. Brandmannetwork.com is the place to go. Hop into our app. It's really dope, and you get access to free courses as well but it might not be free forever. So hurry up and get in there before I change my mind.